I'd like to now find the slope of a line given an equation. And in order to do that, I'd like to demonstrate it graphically at first. And then I'd like to talk about the form that this equation is, is in and identify the slope very readily because it's in what's called slope-intercept form. That's the name of the form of this equation. But let's go ahead and look at this first the way you have understood it so far. Let's say that for this equation, we choose to pick a couple of values. I'm just going to pick two values. I really should be picking three because I want to check and make sure I did my, my math correctly. But I'm going to go ahead and put in zero here for x. So y would be equal to two times zero, that's zero, plus three. So that's three. And then in the second statement, y would be equal to two times one, which is two, and two plus three is five. So from my earlier material, I found two ordered pairs that work in this equation. Let's go ahead and graph them even. So here's the first one. When x is 0, y is 3. And when x is 1, y is 5. And let's draw the straight line through those two ordered pairs and recognize the graph for this line. What I'd like you to notice is between these two ordered pairs now, I'd like you to recognize that the slope of this line is the change in y, so it looks like it goes up 2, and then the change in x, it goes to the right 1. So it looks like the slope of this particular line is equal to 2 over 1, which is just 2. So please recognize that first. And then I'd also like you to notice what's called the y-intercept on the graph of this line. This is the ordered pair that is called the y-intercept on any equation. It is where the graph of the line crosses the y-axis. Here's the y-axis, and the graph crosses right there. For us, that ordered pair right there is called 0, 3. When an equation is in this form, y equals a coefficient in front of x, plus or minus a constant, then it is in the form that is called y equals mx plus b, where the coefficient of x is called the slope of the line. We just determined that the slope of this line is 2, and the b value here is called the y-intercept, or where the graph of this line crosses the y-axis. So from an equation in slope-intercept form, I can state that the slope of this line is 2 and its y-intercept is 0, 3. I state that as 0, 3. I state it as an ordered pair. This value is the y-value where when x is 0, it crosses that y-axis. From now on, without graphing the equation, let's take an equation in slope-intercept form. I'm going to go ahead and write... Right now, y equals mx plus b here on my paper. So I have y equals mx plus b. Again, m is the slope, and my b value is my y-intercept. And let's say I had um, y equals 3x minus 5, and I asked you what the slope of the line is. You would tell me m is equal to 3. And I asked you what's the y-intercept. And you always state it as an ordered pair. A y-intercept always has a value of 0 for x. And in this case, my value for y, where it intercepts the y-axis, is a negative 5. I'll graph that um, using slope-intercept form in a minute. But um, for right now, I'm going to stop at that point. Here's another one. So if y was equal to a negative 2x plus 4, and I asked you what is the slope of this line, you would tell me that the slope is a negative 2, and you would tell me that the y-intercept is 0, comma, a positive 4. Fractions. So let's say I have y equals a negative 2 thirds x minus 1. The coefficient in front of x is the slope. Remember, it's the change in y over the change in x, and it's often written as a fraction. When it's an integer, I think of it as over 1. The slope of this line is a negative 
two thirds and the y-intercept is zero comma. Please give me a negative one. Please give me this sign. That's essentially a negative one is the y-intercept. Um, if the equation is not in this form and you want to know what the slope is and what the y-intercept is, then get it in that form. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is kind of in the way. So if I have um, 4y equals 9x minus 7, and I want to know what the slope and the y-intercept is, I have to get y alone. To get y alone, I have to divide by 4. So I divide this by 4 to make that become a 1y. Well, then this needs to be divided by 4, and so does this. Please do it separately. Please put the 4 underneath each of those terms so that you can see this in slope intercept form and tell me that the slope of this line is 9 fourths and that the y-intercept is 0 comma a negative 7 over 4. Let's see, here's one more that might be a little bit tricky for you. So I want to know what the slope and the y-intercept are of this line. And I need to get y all by itself. I think what I'll do, the easiest way for this, for me to do this one, is to add 4y to both sides of this equation. In doing that, I have the x term and the constant on the left side, and 0 plus 4y is just 4y, and I have the term with y by itself on the right side. Finally, to get y alone, I have to divide both sides of this equation by 4 to make that become a 1y. And I can now see that the slope of this line, the coefficient in front of x, is 5 fourths. And the y-intercept is a positive 12 fourths. I would write that as 0 comma 3, because 12 over 4 is equal to 3. So any equation can be put into what's called slope-intercept form, and I can take the coefficient for x and recognize it as a slope, and I can take the constant and recognize it as the y value in the ordered pair for the y-intercept.